Friday evening starts with the last of Sue Lawley's Wogan with guests Russell Harting and Janet Street Porter. Then at 7.40, every second counts for Paul Daniels. At 8.15, Dynasty, Alexis is falling for Sean. Oh, you're such a romantic, aren't you? You remind me of the first man that I fell in love with when I was 17 years old. Blake. At 9.30, Rockcliffe's babies are back. One six, this is one two. Are you there? <laughs> At 10.20, Barry Humphreys, this is your lunch. The Variety Club of Great Britain honour their show business personality of the year, including a tribute from Dame Edna Everidge. And at 11 o'clock, all the President's men. You want all the material requested by the White House? All White House transactions are confidential. That's Friday night on one. London Plus at 6.35, bus passengers could face major disruption in Monday's Health Service Day of Action. The art of the angler goes on show, and the art of good service on British Rail wins an award. There's polls on BBC Two now with coverage of the World Indoor Championship. This is BBC One. <laughs> Six o'clock news from the BBC with Nicholas Whittle and Philip Hayton. Good evening. The headlines at six o'clock. The Prince of Wales is back in Britain with the body of his friend, Major Hugh Lindsay. The royal party returned from Closters less than an hour ago. The Major's coffin was carried away by members of his regiment. And Prince Charles has put out a statement about yesterday's tragedy in his words to dispel some of the unreasonable rumours. We were all skiing at our own risk, he said. Tonight's other headlines. Lord Spence has been freed on bail of half a million pounds. The Labour Party leader, Neil Kinnock, has again called on the government to make Budget Day National Health Day. Also, the Austrians and their president remember the day the Nazis marched into their country and why Gary Hart has called it a day again. In Closters, the questions. Should there have been more warnings, and were the Prince of Wales and his companions irresponsible in skiing where they did? But there and here, for the royal family and their friends, sadness at a tragic accident. This afternoon, their holiday cut short, the Prince and Princess of Wales and the Duchess of York brought home the body of their friend, Major Hugh Lindsay. Before he boarded the aircraft in Zurich, the Prince issued a long statement about the avalanche. He had only avoided it, he said, by great good fortune. The Prince said they'd all been aware of the dangers. We were skiing at our own risk. And he added, avalanches are a natural phenomenon of the mountains. No one is infallible. He said he'd helped to dig his friend, Mrs. Patty Palmer Tompkinson, out of the snow with his hands and a shovel. Today, Swiss doctors said she was in good spirits. She has multiple fractures of both legs and a crushed lung. The prince spent several hours with her this morning. Here, the mother of Major Lindsay has said that no one should feel responsible for what happened. I don't blame anybody. It was an unfortunate accident, she said. The Swiss magistrate who's carrying out the investigation into what happened has said that at the time of the avalanche, the skiing party was being led by Prince Charles and not by a local guide who was there as a guest of the prince. And, the magistrate added, they were off the marked ski run. The Alpine Chalet in which the royal party began their holiday three days ago is empty tonight. Earlier, as police guarded the entrance, the heavy snow was a reminder of how quickly conditions can deteriorate here. Several inches have fallen overnight. Prince Charles left early, his destination the Davos Hospital in which Mrs. Patty Palmer Tompkinson is being treated. She had both legs broken and has a collapsed lung. A doctor who was at the avalanche scene talked of rescue attempts and the part played by Prince Charles. He, he 
was helping in each case. Before we came, he helped to dig her out with his own hands, and he was very controlled, and he talked to the lady. Do you think that he actually saved her life by digging her out? It's that way. They All, all people were wearing this instrument, this signal instrument that uh, you can find the other person. And uh, they were so fast, they digged her out in, uh, in a few minutes, and I would say they saved her life.